Hello and welcome to Back the Way Bit. Today I'm going to show you how to very quickly set up the N64 core on the Mr. FPGA. Now this is a system that's still very much in development and there's a few files that you need to put into your system. And I'm going to show you how to do this very simply without all the waffle. And this is all correct at the time of recording this and uh, things do move extremely fast where the mist is concerned. But once the uh, core has fully completed its development stages, you never know, it might just appear as part of the update or script. Now this is the method I used that I managed to get the system working. But the first thing you need to do is to get the RBF file. And the best way to do this is to go to the Discord Mr. FPGA group. And you may need to come back here frequently as the uh, N64 core gets developed and new builds are released. But you need to just go into the test builds channel here. And this is where you'll find all the latest builds for the new cores that are in development. And then you can download this RBF file as you can see here. And no different from other cores, you just need to copy the RBF file across to the consoles directory on the Mr. FPGA SD card. And then the next thing to go and do is to go and find the pif.rom for the N64 core. This is probably one of the most difficult parts to do, but a quick Google search will help you find out. Unfortunately, I can't give you the link for this. Uh, you will have to go and do the work yourself. Uh, but a quick Google search does bring up the right information that you need. And these are the files that I got. These three files came in one zip file, which I downloaded. And this is how I got mine to work, which is a little different from some of the other tutorials that I've seen. Right, the next thing to do is to go to your Mr. SD card and go to your games directory and create a folder called N64, as you see here. And this is where you transfer the PIF files across. Now I did transfer all of these three files across to the N64 file. I'm not 100% sure if it does need all three of them, but it certainly doesn't do any harm moving them all across just to be on the, the safe side. I say I'm no expert in this, but this is how I got it to work. And I renamed this two kilobyte bin file to boot.rom. And then copied all three files across to the N64 folder in the games directory. As I said, I don't know if it does need all these three files, but uh, after doing a bit of experimenting, this is what worked for me and it does no harm. And the next thing to go and do is test it out. And uh, there it is, there's the N64 core. And I'll load that up and I'll quickly skip through the database and pick out a game and we'll try and load Wave Race. Now I do know there are quite a few games that still won't work with this so you do have to play around and try and find the games that will work but I'm sure as this core gets developed more and more games will become compatible. That's it from me, hope you enjoyed that, take care, goodbye.